As you might know, for some time I've been offering an option for everyone to speak to me either over the phone or by meeting me face to face. I was told by the entities that it's my job in this reality to help as many people as I can and that's what I'm happily doing. So a few days ago I had a viewer fly into Manchester to meet up with me. It's a woman I've been talking to for more than a year and she needed help with her serious life situation. She's a beautiful 50 year old who looks like she's 35. She has an unusually relaxed attitude and she came to this world with an incredible number of metaphysical abilities, some of which allow her to access knowledge that is available only for people with insight into the outer dimensional realms. It's important to mention that as a kid she went through a near-death experience that might have been responsible for her supernatural gifts. Although she lives in Florida now, it turned out that we grew up in cities only 50 miles away from each other. The reason she came to Manchester was because a few months ago she developed cancer and has had a major surgery and now she needed help with mental recovery. Once we started talking, it turned out that she has a stressful life where she's a nurse, working long shifts, she has lived in a house for a few years that is still being repaired after a hurricane. She wanted to see me mainly to get help with her first mushroom trip, which she didn't want to do on her own, and she also wanted to learn how to cure cancer and how to live a healthier lifestyle. Clearly someone in a situation where they would require as much support as possible. But her circumstances and her situation are not the reason why I'm telling you this story. Something else happened that made me realize that she was sent to me in the relation to a message I received a few weeks prior to that visit and it is a very important example of what Machine Elves told me regarding the quality of our life and why it can be such a mess sometimes. Her journey started with the plane being a few hours late and effectively making her arrive at Manchester airport in the middle of the night. It turned out that her hotel does not have a 24-hour reception desk, which meant waiting outside the hotel lobby in the freezing cold for hours. She had a faulty phone that was draining her battery fast with no adapter or charger for English power sockets. She also never got in touch with me regarding the delay, despite me giving her my phone number and asking to contact me should anything go wrong. After spending two days in England, she was meant to go back home and she had a flight booked from Manchester to Florida. But right before the departure, she realized that her flight is actually booked from Manchester in Massachusetts, not in England, which effectively added three unexpected days to her journey and cost her at least additional half a thousand dollars. What was supposed to be a simple two-day visit turned out to be a five-day ordeal that cost an enormous amount of money and energy. But as we started analyzing what happened, it turned out that there is a very important lesson hidden in this unfortunate trip of hers. You see, everything that went wrong was by design and she was the designer. Of course it is somewhat in a very difficult situation at the moment and she has every right to make as many mistakes as she wants. But once we compared that journey's problems to the difficulties she's facing in her personal life, what transpired was a repeated pattern of bad decision making. She turned to me so that I can help her get answers from the mushroom realm, but as I found out, the problems she was facing were much more down to earth and had to be addressed first before reaching out to the metaphysical. It quickly turned out that this lovely woman was living a difficult life that was way below her standards because she was not putting enough energy into all those small and big decisions governing her life. It was clear as day to me that despite her best intentions and working really hard, she ended up in a place that was slowly ruining her health and transformed into something that could potentially cost her life. Of course, it's very easy for me to judge her because I had only a small glimpse into her existence without knowing much about what she's struggling with internally. And I could build a picture of her life based only on what she was willing to share with me. That's obviously not a good foundation for an analysis of someone's situation. But the events of these few days came right after I had one of the most important trips ever, where Machine Elves showed me a very similar problem with my life. And in this case, we're talking about someone I know very well and don't have a problem judging. This video will contain a series of Machine Elf messages about the reasons why your life is a chaotic struggle. If you're fed up with the messy situation you're in, the content of this video should be very helpful. 
This interdimensional advice can turn your life around and you can say thank you by donating to this channel through PayPal, bank transfer, crypto or cash app or you can join Patreon or Subscribestar. If it feels like it's too much to handle on your own, schedule a donation funded chat with me and I'll help you with everything. All links in the video description. The messages I get from the entities are usually about either universal human problems or my personal issues and this year, for some reason, almost all of the messages I get from them have been about me and my development. The last trip a month ago was a very insightful and important session made of hours of constructive criticism about how I'm doing in relation to my spiritual development and about my progress of running the psychedelic community. Being criticized lovingly by these caring entities is nothing new to me, but that one session hosted entirely by the Bee Queen was one of the most sobering awakenings I've experienced in my life, because as it turned out, I'm also suffering from the painful effects of me not putting enough energy into my assignment here, which resulted in me being apparently more than 10 years behind the schedule of what I'm supposed to achieve here in this existence. These lessons were given to me based on a visual of a ridiculous situation that happened a few months prior to that trip. I was waiting at a bus stop, going to the airport and getting frustrated at the cars that were not using both lanes while trying to get around roadworks and effectively blocking other cars and buses on that particular road. My bus was late because of it and I was getting so angry that I started directing the traffic and yelling at the drivers. Machine Elves took that funny visual and compared it with the visual of what I do for others using the values of love, joy and hope and they said You are a very unique person. You're a mixture of so many things simultaneously. Yet you are shouting at cars, standing at a bus stop and you built a community made of tens of thousands of spiritually inclined people. Look at the chaos you created. What are you? You didn't come here like this. Everything that should be in order is completely out of control. It's like a broken bag that spills everything outside. You came here with a concrete purpose as an entity created from your goals in this life. It's not a coincidence who you are. Your purpose has appeared about 10 years ago when you started listening to Wayne Dyer. And from that moment on, you should have been fulfilling it. You're really late with being on track with it. You are so out of focus. And to make things worse, you're not focused on 434. You're meant to be strong and smart in every aspect of your life, but you're an all over the place wacko. You're out of tune and you're decalibrated. Get yourself together and put some work into your life. You should have had a map long time ago. Get that map as soon as possible. It will open a lot of doors for you. It's going to put you on the path. It's about time. The entity showed me how more than a decade ago I discovered my metaphysical purpose here, yet somehow this journey so far has been filled with doubt, experimenting, procrastinating and earthly trivia. They showed me how my laziness and my lack of focus create emotional and environmental chaos in my life and how I waste my precious energy on insignificant aspects of human life not related to my metaphysical mission here, something that a huge number of people rely on. Their favorite new word now describing me is decalibrated. Apparently, I should be much more advanced and developed when it comes to helping others and being on my path wherever it is supposed to take me as I don't even know what that place is. They said, You get intoxicated on earthly addictions too often now, like going out to restaurants and then concentrating on these earthly little pleasures instead of working on developing. You are given so much. You should be above everything and everyone. You should be a walking example. Turn into a god of happiness that you are. Fix yourself. You've been lost for 30 years. Life is such a beautiful journey. What are you doing? Just fix it. Put the effort in and fix the whole thing according to machine elf messages. These messages might have been about me, but if you've been a viewer of this channel for some time, you're in a particularly difficult position because unlike regular people, you don't have an excuse that you don't know what to do. For years I've been empowering you with not only machine love messages and interdimensional life tutorials, but also with motivational content that is supposed to make your life much easier and much more productive. I've talked about how to meditate, how to accept and love yourself, how to let go of distracting earthly problems, how to eat the right food, what to do when life gets too much, how to be free, how to be brave, and how to function in society. 
Given all this content and years of uploads, you don't really have an excuse. And if this existence is a chaotic mess, it all comes down to one simple factor. You're not putting enough energy into your life. This is my diagnosis every time I have a consultation with you. This is what I diagnosed with my Manchester visitor a few days ago. And this is what machine elves identified as my problem. Not making a conscious effort in order to improve this short earthly life. If you're a grown-up who is in the wrong place in their life and if you're suffering, it's a result of being lazy, either intellectually or physically. There is no other way to put it. In almost all cases, it will be your fault and you'll be the one responsible for it. This is how I can prove it to you. One of the most important, if not the most important, video on this channel is called Life Purpose Formula and it has been viewed across all 434 social media by about 15,000 people. Now, the actual Life Purpose Formula spreadsheet file that you're supposed to fill out was downloaded only 1500 times, which is not a bad result in itself, even though 90% of people who watch this video do not decide to take advantage of that free tool that can make their lives easier and more enjoyable. The real problem is in the number of people who came to me asking for help with this formula, and that number is lower than 10. These statistics gave me an indication as to how many viewers actually completed the form, given that I know that it takes hours to do it and that it is a difficult journey to the inside, not everyone know how to do and usually need help with. This tells me that thousands of people decided that there is something more valuable and important to spend their energy on rather than finding out what their tasks in this earthly existence are. What that thing is, I have no idea, but that's laziness on a whole new metaphysical level. Laziness that goes beyond this earthly existence. I'm not saying you have to use my template for life, but if you're not using it, which one are you using? How are you supposed to get positive results from your current incarnation? The price you pay is wasting a difficult to sign up for earthly training session. This reality is based on an algorithm and one of these life governing equations is very simple. The quality of your life directly correlates to the amount of energy you spend on it. What you put in is exactly what you get out. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you're not working hard. What I'm saying is that it's time for you to start working smart. Because for every element of human life, there's a simple mechanism that governs it and that allows you to achieve optimal results. As always, the entities gave me a manual as to how you're supposed to fix everything and this is what you need to redirect your energy into to simplify your life and get it back on track. Start with the basic yet essential energy saving changes. The first order of business is putting as much energy as possible into self-control. Get on top of your anxiety, your anger, your negativity, your compulsions and addictions. Control all that you have identified as being detrimental to your life. Next step, stop making excuses and take full responsibility for everything that is happening at the moment. It's your life and you're fully in charge of it. You are where you are, either because you didn't put enough energy into it or you wasted it on the wrong activities and wrong decisions. Repeat after me, it's my life and I design everything in it. Create an energy saving environment. Clean your desk, clean your room and then clean your house. Make an effort to surround yourself with like-minded people. Get rid of relationships that don't work for you and put energy into finding the right partner and the right friends. Spend your energy on preparing healthy meals and don't drain 50% of your daily energy on digestion. Find a job or start a company that works for you. Every time you plan on doing anything, make sure you prepare for every step of the process, imagining what is necessary to complete and prepare yourself for anything that could go wrong. Plan your morning, your day, your week and the next five years. Without a plan, you're wasting energy on ineffectiveness and lack of direction. Planning will help you maximize daily productivity and will allow to get as much out of your 24 hours as physically possible. Don't be a tiny boat thrown in every direction by a storm of randomness and adversities that will make you disappear in the depths of the ocean of desperation and self-pity. Stay focused and don't drain your energy on things that are not a part of your journey here. Your energy is precious and needs to be saved and managed responsibly. 
put energy into identifying and controlling the moments when you lose motivation and slip back into the comfort of your old habits. Put that energy into getting used to be outside of your comfort zone while making as much effort as possible to stay in high frequency. Get used to discomfort and hard work. Learn to delay your gratification. That's how you get results. Your job here is to put your energy into enhancing and mastering your skills and gifts that you came to earth with. Identify these as soon as possible and use all the help you have access to, including the life purpose formula. Listen to Machine Elves who said, maximize the efforts, change the frequency and then you'll see where the reward is. It will come, but fix your life. You can squeeze in so much into your day with all the effort and improvements. You just need to have the energy. Do it because there are also metaphysical changes waiting for you. Make sure that you understand that everything in your life is an opportunity to feel great. Everything is a chance to make your life great. Look for them. Take advantage of them. We told you about this. To get your life a bit more in order, a bit less emotionally draining, just do the one track thing. Just concentrate on one thing with no interruptions, no disruptions, no distractions. One thing emotionally, intellectually. You need to be more focused. That's how you save energy moving forward. That's how you will feel good. Let's see how you do with all these changes. That will be a test too. We're all guilty of neglecting our lives and I feel like developing a disciplined model of our earthly existence is one of our main objectives. Do not be like 99% of low effort humans on earth who are so lost they will give up their life in exchange for a donut. You're not one of them so do not get stuck in the same lazy life model. The entities made it clear that we're supposed to become perfect humans and it is clear that learning how to manage your daily energy is the key to this task. Nothing stands in your way of learning how to do it and dedicating your waking hours to making an effort that will allow you to break the endless cycle of repeating the same painful lessons. If you don't want to venture too far searching for answers, you have more than 160 videos on this channel that contain all the knowledge you need to get your life in order. I spent 4 years writing them so that you don't have to feel lost in this reality. Don't let simple human laziness stand in the way of your eternal progression. But if you need help, get in touch so that I can help you with developing methods coping with your personal development. Thank you for watching and on your way out, please remember to support this channel so that I can keep helping us move along the path of our transcendental progression. You will find all links in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. Like this video and share it with everyone you care about. For merchandise, go to shop.b434.com. Leave your email address at news.b434.com. Visit the website of the artist and the musician I featured here. For more info or contact, visit b434.com and join 434 social media on YouTube, Facebook, BitChute, Instagram, Spotify, Snapchat, Twitter, Reddit, Discord, Telegram, VK, TikTok, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Dailymotion, SoundCloud, and a few other ones you can see on the screen now. All links in the video description and at b434.com.